Welcome back everyone. I'm so happy you're here today. As you can see that my wife is not here today because this video we're gonna talk about a more of a controversial topic. So we're gonna talk about if babies should get an implant or not. Let's get started. Before we begin, I don't want to tell you which group is right or wrong. I'm just going to tell you the three specific groups of what they think. And just let me know in the comments, direct message me. And just let me know if I miss anything or if I'm wrong about anything. But to be clear, this is just an opinion and from what I've experienced, or seen and you know heard so the first group trying to decide if the baby should get an implant or not is absolutely not the reason why is because the baby is already healthy and being deaf is not a bad thing it's not even a big deal because there's a deaf community out there there is ASL, which means American Sign Language. There is so many things out there. The deaf community, the deaf people, um, there's deaf schools. There is interpreters for the deaf people. And there is so many assets. And it's really simple, easier than you think when you're deaf throughout your life. I've seen deaf people who are not even trying to survive. They're just living their lives normally. They can drive, they can work, they can, you know, communicate with hearing people by writing, phones. And the other reason why is because having an implant on a baby can be dangerous. There are risks that can cause headaches or just brain damage alone. So that's the first group. The second group is obviously the opposite of the first group is absolutely yes. Like, it has to be. Does it make sense why you won't give an opportunity for the baby to hear to have access to the hearing world and the deaf world and they can choose one or another. Their parents, uh, the child's parents, doesn't want their child to struggle and to not be able to communicate with people such as if a person just walks by on the beach you can't just go up to the person and communicate instantly. You have to write it down, type it down, or people might feel awkward to do that for you. It is, yes, harder to get a job because people discriminate that. And so the parents doesn't want that for the child to go through that. And yes, parents think that being deaf is a broken thing. And if there is an opportunity to heal or to fix that, why not take it? Such as, you know, if you're blind and if you see the opportunity to give the child sight, would you do it? If the child is not able to walk, would you give them, you know, fake legs? So they take that the same thing as giving them the ability to hear. So that's the second group. The third group is it's aligned with three different decisions. Third group is you let the child grow up and you let the child decide for themselves whether if they want an implant or not. Or the parents let the child grow up and the parents tell the child that they should get an implant and give them reasons why they should. And the child from there can decide yes or no. Or just because the parents can't afford having an implant for them. Let's go back to the second group where the parent says yes, the baby should get an implant. One of the reasons I forgot to mention is that babies need to learn how to speak at young age because it's really hard to learn when you're 11 or older because it's just a critical moment to learn how to speak when you're a baby. Let's go back to the first group too. The first group where the parents doesn't want to give an implant is because babies can learn how to communicate and sign language before they're able to speak. 
So that's really cool and a good reason for that. Let me show you a video of the two sides where the baby gets an implant. see that the two sides are really different. One, they really enjoy and the other are just really um, not obviously enjoying the sounds. But, and people, there are different people who grew up who got an implant when they're a baby and they end up taking it off or getting rid of it. Or there's people who grew up and got an implant in late age and they develop and learn how to speak really well. So the group that I'm in is that I grew up and my parents told me that they want me to get an implant because they couldn't afford it at the time. So I didn't learn how to speak when I was 11. So you can't consider me myself lucky that I'm able to speak this well and that's because I went through a lot. I went through a lot of speech therapies, um, classes, struggles, fell back classes. It was really hard. I would tell you that it was really hard for me to go through that. But at the end of the day, I'm really blessed to have this implant. And as you can see that I'm still signing too. I depend on ASL before I depend on English. So it doesn't mean that I you know, spoke ASL first. English is still my first language, but I depend on ASL more. Does that make sense? I hope so. Now, here's the sensitive part of the video. What I wish that could happen to me is that my parents, yes, let me get an old cochlear implant when I was a baby, but also teach me ASL. Because ASL, it really has a really big impact on my life. And I have made many friends who, you know, learn ASL. My wife herself learned sign language for me. It's just a situation like when my implant just doesn't work on that day, I still am able to talk to my wife. And if I miss a word in class with no interpreters there, it's really hard to catch up with the class if you miss an important word and especially if they're looking away from you, and it's really hard to understand them all the times. You can't, you know, hear perfectly with your implant. So don't expect that if you, the parents, give the baby a cochlear implant, they will become hearing perfectly or hear like other hearing people. Doesn't work like that. Doctors may say yes, but in my experience and my friends, experience, they said, no, we can't hear like other pe hearing people can. Don't take this opinion as a right direction to make or decision to make. I do wish that my parents learn how to do sign language because sign language is a beautiful language. It's really fun. My, me and my wife have used it in a different fun ways such as scuba diving, and we're just communicating with each other, and that's really cool. I love the deaf community. They're really awesome people. Interpreters are really awesome. They're really talented. My parents thought what was best for me, and I know they did love me, and I love them. This didn't change anything of how I feel, but, the things that I wish for, I tend to understand why my parents did it. They did it because they were afraid that I would you know, go through a hard time. And it's true, I can't imagine if I was deaf myself. Right now, that's only because I've already experienced the hearing world and I can't imagine to lose that. But if I was born deaf, I wouldn't know or understand what I've lost or what I'm missing. Does that make sense? Because I believe if I was deaf, I would not be able to 
marry Nadine, but I would end up marrying someone else who is deaf or knows ASO. And I wouldn't know what I'm missing. So at the end of the day, just know that you guys are blessed and it's hard to make these decisions. They're really huge, but I think the top number one thing is no matter what, it doesn't matter, I think, is that you should teach your child to learn ASO and YouTube. Again, all these groups is not wrong or right. It's just what the parents think is best for their child. And I think that we all should respect each other because both sides are, you know, reasonable. There is the deaf community, but parents doesn't want their child to go through the hard time in their lives. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I didn't offend anyone. But let me know in the comments for questions or direct message me. I hope you click the like button and you subscribe. I love you guys and don't forget, God loves you. Bye guys.